welcome back to my channel. It is kind of a drab day around here today. It's cold and rainy, so it's really dark in here. So I hope you guys can see okay. I'm just finishing up my leopard. I will be done him very soon. I've only got this small corner left to do. So I thought I would chat with you guys while I'm working on finishing him. Um, I've been kind of, I don't know, I'm not in a bad mood, just disappointed, I guess, in a lot. I am actually considering um, closing down my Lullaby Baby's Facebook page and changing my channel as well, my YouTube channel. Well, not really changing, I'm going to leave it, but I'm going to change what I do on it to more other things besides instead of Reborns because I'm kind of... Like I want to, I'm going to make reborns for, you know, I'll still make reborns and sell them. And of course make them for my best customers who always order from me. I will make, always make them their dolls. No problem. And I will make and sell them, like I said, but I'm, uh, I've been let down by this business so much lately. Um. It's hard to explain really. I've had friends, a lot of friends come and go in this business and there's been some I've been really close with and, you know, you know, this isn't directed at any one person. So I'm going to put that out there. First of all, it's not directed at any one person at all. It's just in general, my friends or ones that I thought were friends at one point or whatever. You know, I've, I'm a person who will do anything for anyone. I always do. And I would do anything to make people happy. And even if sometimes, you know, it's not the smartest thing for me to do for myself, I still, you know, I always want to do what's best for everyone else to make them happy. And I do that. I bend over backwards for people. And then it seems when, you know, I need something or I need, you know, it's something for me or I need someone to be there for me. They're just not. If that makes sense. See, I learned a long time ago because of, see a lot of you don't even know this, I'm an author and at one point I was pretty known and I traveled around doing events and things like that. And I was in many articles and magazines and newspapers and whatnot and did many interviews and I was known pretty well known and because of that back then I had friends who they always wanted people who always wanted to be my friend you know and they would always want things want this want that and then like a fool, I would, you know, do that. And then when I stopped doing that, they just disappeared. So I learned back then that not everybody is your friend for the right reasons. And since then, I found I still get the same thing a lot. Where people who know me, or they know who I know, they're suddenly wanting to be my friend and it seems like they're my friend until they get to know the people they want to get to know and get to where they want to be in whatever it is I'm doing at the time that they're into and 
then they just walk away. So, and history just keeps repeating itself. It just keeps happening over and over and over with no matter what I do. So, to the point I'm, just, I'm done with it all. I just, you know, people who are truly my friends, they know how to find me. They know how to get a hold of me. I'm not going to chase them down. I'm not going to be the one reaching out all the time. I'm just not going to do that. I'm done with it. And that's one reason I'm thinking about just leaving the Reborn community because I have been hurt so many times in this community by people that I thought were friends. And I trusted, I trusted some of them with secrets of my life that, you know, personal things that I wouldn't share with anybody unless I really cared about that person and they really meant something to me in my life. You know, and I've had people, again, I'm not naming names, I'm not pointing fingers, I'm not saying anything like that, you know, who have taken my secrets and, you know, spewed them in public forums and, and spoke of them with people that, you know, they shouldn't be spoke about or it shouldn't be spoken to, you know what I mean? I just... You know, and when that happens, you get really hurt. You really do. And then, and what happens when you're in a group is some people flock to that person and you end up losing more friends. And, you know, that's how it works. It's how it happens. And, unfortunately, it just, it sucks. It really does. So, again, I'm not directing this at any one person, so... I know there's a few people that automatically are going to be, oh my god, that's about me. How could she say that? No, it's not directed at any one person. Okay, it's directed at my, fr my friends as a whole. Put it that way. <laughs> and the ones that, you know, and I can't say it's directed at everyone because it's not directed at everyone. It's just some. So I hope that's not too, I hope nobody's too upset with me saying that. I just feel like I need to just pull away and like life is too short to always be unhappy because people are constantly letting you down because you think one thing and then turns out that's not how it is at all. And It's like, it's almost like they're your friends as long as it benefits them. And once it no longer benefits them, they just don't care. And it's just like, go away. I'm done. I'm done with you. That's how it feels. And it's really hurtful. It really is. And I'm just tired. Life is too short to be hurt all the time by people who claim to be your friends. And... I'm just done. I'm just going to focus on me. And that's it. Plain and simple. If that sounds selfish, then so be it. But that's what it's going to be. So I am also probably going to be cutting back my collection because... <sighs> I don't know, maybe not. There's not too many that I actually would, would sell. But I may cut back my collection some because I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna close down my nursery page at some point very soon. And change how I do my videos. I'm not gonna be so focused on the reborn aspects of it anymore. And the nursery in my room, I may actually, I don't know if I can get my collection to a point where it's just one crib of babies. I'll probably sell some of the furniture and a lot of the clothes. A lot of clothes, because I have so many and I will not need 
all of those clothes if I'm not doing changing videos and all of that. I mean, there'll be some clothes I'll keep for babies that I make and sell. Of course, because I said box openings and whatnot. But, yeah, there's going to be a lot going up for sale in the near future. I think my princess bassinet is going to be one of the first things I sell. Which I don't know if anybody would be interested in that. And it would be pick up in London. So, yeah, you would have to pick it up because he cannot be shipped. But, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of changes happening. I'm just, you know, some people tell me that I'm just depressed over everything that's been happening and. It's not that. I'm just, you know, I always get my hopes up for things, you know, and I get excited about things and then and things change and it just, I don't know, like my life has changed so much. Like, you know, when I changed what I was doing for this, for reborning and, you know, I have a stroke and I haven't written since my stroke, unfortunately. really need to get a new book out because it would really help my finances big time. But I just feel I need to kind of back paddle on my life if that makes any sense. There's too many people who have come and gone in my life in this business. And the ones that are still there are really only there for the wrong reasons. Like they're all friendly and chatty and talking to me and everything, call me friend and whatnot. When they want me to buy something and the second I'm done buying it, I don't hear from them. Or if I don't have the money to buy, buy it at the time, I don't hear from them. You know, it's... It's hard, you know? Like, I'm not exactly in a great position in my life right now, so... Add all the extra... Stress is just not needed for me, and... I just can't keep doing everything to make everyone happy, only to have get stomped on basically or to feel stabbed in the back so I'm sorry if this is too personal for you guys but a lot of you on here you know me and you know the type of person I am so for you guys it all makes sense but I'm just letting you guys know that there's going to be changes, basically. See, I'm not a person to normally get this personal. You know, I've always been someone, you know, people hurt me and I'm like, I just walk away. You know, I just keep my mouth shut and I walk away. And there's been people that have said to me, you know what, you should say something. You should say something to them. Or you should make a video and say something. But I'm not like that. I'm not someone who is vengeful and retaliates or anything like that. I just, you know, walk away. And that's what I'm doing. I'm walking away. But I'm just letting you guys know because I know some of you are going to be really confused as to what's going on. Like, where did her page go? Why is she no longer showing reborns? What is happening? You know, and I'm not saying I'm never going to show a Reborn, because I will. And I'm sure at some point there's going to be a Reborn doll that I really want, and I buy it, and I'll have a box opening. You know, my channel is going to be a mix of a lot of things. But just the Reborn doll aspect of it is going to be faded out a little bit. Probably have other collectible dolls that I'll show, because I do collect animators, and... I've recently gotten into 
the Rainbow High dolls. I think they're really cool. They almost look like a Blythe doll, but they're not. So I've been keeping an eye on them. I haven't got one yet, but I want to. <laughs> and hopefully soon I will. There's only six to collect, but now they have a different set. They have the six fashion ones that I wanted at Christmas time, and I never got them because I couldn't afford it then. And now they have, I think it's their cheerleaders. I think it's a cheer set. So yeah, but they're pretty expensive, so. Like, you would think they'd be cheaper being a kid's toy, but they're not, so. One day soon I'll get some. And then you guys will see it, and you'll be like, oh, cool, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm just moving along here on this. It's almost finished. And it's going to be framed probably, well, depending on how fast. Actually, I might not even seal this one. I usually only seal them if I'm not going to um, frame them. This one will probably just get rolled really well and then just framed. So it'll probably be framed later tonight. And if it is, I will post a photo on my community wall. You guys can see it completed and framed. Alrighty guys. I hope you guys all have a fantastic Sunday night. And again, I hope you don't mind me getting a little personal here. It's just wanting to let you guys know what's happening. All right. Take care, guys. Bye for now.